Never Stop Learning, week 328. We're going to take a quick look at Smart Object Templates in Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. All right, so last week I was over at Adobe Max and I got to be a teacher's assistant for Michael Flarup. That dude's awesome. And uh, we were working on this app icon template and you can download it over at applypixels.com and I put the link for you inside the description of this video. All right, so I thought this was a great use for smart objects, so I wanted to show you how this template works. All right, if you look at this template, we're working on an app icon over here on the top left. You get a large version of it, so you get a good view of how this looks. And as we zoom in, you'll be able to see it against these different colored backgrounds, and you'll see it at different sizes. So this is going to really help you see if your icon is going to work during the design process. All right, over here on the right in the layers panel, we have this layer. It's actually a smart object and he named it edit me and save. All right, so he made it really easy. All right, so I'm going to double click on this. That's how you edit a smart object and notice it opens up a separate document. This is a PSB document. All right, so let's make some changes in here. I'm going to change the background. Now I'm ready to close out this tab and save. Once I hit save, it's going to update that smart object and all the other ones that exist right here in this document. So all of these are pretty much the same smart object. They just uh, are sized differently. They have different names. And uh, once you update one of them, the rest of them are going to update. Let me show you how this works. All right. So over here on the top left, I got this option turned on here. It says auto select. So if I click on this icon, over here in the layers panel, it's going to target a different layer. All right, so we have this one here. It's a smart object. I'm going to double click on it. Notice it opens up icon PSB again. All right, let's make some changes. In here, I want to change the, uh, the color of this uh, artwork that we have set up here. All right, so let's go through this at the top. All right, and then change the color over here for fill. I'll go with the blue color. All right, close this tab, save it. And you see it updated across the entire document. So this is a huge time saver. Now, if you want to create a new smart object, all you have to do is come over here. I'm going to grab my move tool, target one of these icons, option, click, drag, and make a copy of it. All right, I'll release. Currently, I can't see it because it's clipped over here in the layers panel. I'm going to option click. That's going to unclip it. If I need to make a change to the name, I could just double click here on the text. We'll go with new icon. All right, great. Let's resize this guy. Nice and big right here. Great. So now that I've made a copy, if I double click on the smart object, I'm ready to make some changes in here. So let's go with the different background. Since we have blue artwork, let's go with a yellow background. I just have to turn off some of these. There we go. I'll close out this tab, hit save. And then you see it updated on all the existing icons and that new one that we made as a copy. So there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at a smart object template in Adobe Photoshop CC 2018.